Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about cable tray layout. So what we learn here, first of all, we will learn what is the cable tray layouts, purpose of this layout in engineering as well as at site, the details in cable tray layout, what are the input details is required for the preparation of cable tray layout and how to prepare this cable tray layout. So these details we will discuss here. After this video, you are able to know the, about the cable tray layout and the procedure of making cable tray layouts and it's important in engineering as well as at site actions. So in the right side figure, you can see this is the cable tray layout. Let's discuss in details. This is also a portion of any cable tray layout where these green colors are it is the cables tray so what is the cable tray layout cable tray location plan or layout is a layout showing location of junction boxes instrument air header local panel and instrument tray routing with respect to the instrument location layout a cable tray layout is a deliverable document of detailed design and engineering developed by instrument and control department so basically for the cable laying purpose we need cable tray and that cable tray we need to lay over the route that we have decided from the field junction boxes and it's a uh, you can say local panels or instrument air header so from that particular location to the control room all the cable will be run so for cable running purpose we require the cable tray it's a physical medium of uh, laying up cables and tubes etc so cable tray layout is just a dimensional drawing and it's a dimensional layout of cable tray so wherever the cable will be required there you can see the cable tray will be showing so it will follow a particular route towards the control room for example i can show you this is the cable tray layout from this location the cable tray is going at this locations from this location this is going towards the dislocations so this is the elevation of this cable tray this is the size of cable tray so this is the use for signaling signal per, uh, cables purpose so this is the routing of cable tray so in general just you can understand this cable tray layout is uh, make for the purpose of cable tray routing so the main purpose of cable tray layout for calculation of cable tray requirement and accessories quantity due to this cable tray layout installation of cable tray will be easy at site and understanding the cables going up upper side it's going downward side it's a, a bending toward 45 degree over 90 degree sometime it's reducing expanding these all the details you can find in this layout so you can understand the installation of the cable tray layout with the help of these layouts so basically uh, there will be a question in your mind that if we are preparing a 3d model then in 3d model we can understand very easily that this is the bands this is the expander to so this is the ups and downs of cable tray yes but the construction and installation cannot be done over the 3d model because at site only you can take a plain papers plain paper in the sense you cannot take uh, the laptop or uh, systems everywhere in the plant so basically the traditional way or the best way for uh, construction and installation of tray is based on the 2d dimensional drawing so we need to prepare the 2d dimensional drawing in detail so that any site engineer can install the cable tray and all the details for the installation will be there inside the cable tray layout so that means this cable tray layout is very important for the installation purpose of cable tray 
नेक्स्ट इज स्पेस कवरिंग एट साइट एज वी नो दैट देर आर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट स्टेजेज ऑफ केबल ट्रे ले आउट्स देयर बिकॉज फ्रॉम द स्टार्टिंग द इलेक्ट्रिकल पर्सन विल ऑल्सो वर्क इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियर विल ऑल्सो वर्क पाइप इंजीनियर ऑल्सो वर्क ऑन द प्लान सो इफ वी विल नॉट कवर द स्पेस दैन एट लास्ट वेन एवर वी विल गो फॉर द इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ केबल ट्रे then we will see that there there is no any space or routing available for the cable tray installations for the initial purpose uh, during the engineering or detail engineering if we make the cable tray layout then we can cover the route we can cover the space so that later on at site there will be no any problem will uh, during the installations so space covering at site is very important so that can be done with the help of this layout maintenance of cable tray will be done based on this layout very well because this layout so the all the routings all the sizes bendings up and downs every accessory it is showing and it it is also dimensional drawing so we can make the maintenance based on this drawing as well reducing wastage of cable tray obviously if we are working with the help of this drawing then our uh, costings our uh, engineerings everything's will be in better way so we can reduce the wastage of the cable tray separation with electrical tray it's very important separation between electrical cable tray and instrument cable tray is very important at least uh, you can say if the voltage rating up to 120 then uh, 300 is uh, mm is separation is most important and up to 400 uh, voltage or 440 voltage 600 spacing is required and for the ht cables at least 1 meter gap between these two tray is important so these separations can be shown on the cable tray layout only so that at site these separations will maintain and cable laying definitely if the cable tray layout you have then cable laying will be so easy so these are the many purpose we we cannot explain that can we feel at the site only or you can understand if you work on the site and you use the cable tray layout so there are so many purpose of this layout so that's we want we are interested to prepare during the engineering or detail engineering stages and that what are the details you can find in the cable tray layout you can say cable tray route so this is very important the cable tray route you can find from each junction boxes towards the control room you can go with this cable tray layout then the cable tray elevation at which what height the cable tray is installed cable tray cable laying details which cables is going towards which route and which is generating from uh, any particular area so if you want to trace any cable if you want to maintenance any cable if you want to uh, check the elevation or route of any cable tray so that could be find or that could be done with the help of this cable tray layout so basically the main cable tray and main cables details are mentioned within this layout so sometimes this layout is also called main cable tray layout that means we are considering only the multiple multi pair cable within this uh, cable tray and cable route so cable tray sizes and lengths means uh, cable tray details also you can find what is the size means size means its width its height the depth and its length again uh, the material also again you can find the uh, cable tray elevations and how much cables inside that particular cable tray these details also you can find the total overall bill of quantity you can find so uh, there are some split details like in any particular route how much cable tray is there how much how many cables within this route or within this cable this could you could you can find the any particular cable tray that is for the signal purpose or power purpose or you can say it is for the control purpose any things you can find with the help of this 
uh, layout because every details is showing here so right side you can see these are the tables are there you can find uh, this cable tray details and the cable details route details that the regions are there you can find with the help of this cable tray layout I can show you these uh, details uh, AutoCAD file so that few things which is not visible you can see very easily. Let's come up with uh, this layout in details. So you can see this is the utility building the, where the control room is there. So all the cables is coming toward this area. You can see all the end portions of the cable cable trays at this location so from every area like you can see this is the liquefied ammonia storage tank so this is the ammonia storage area here the junction box are there so from this junction box the multi-pair cable go toward the control room through this instrument cable so this is the electrical cables are there the minimum spacing is maintained very well so by this way this cable tray is going towards the control room and the size of the cable tray is 150 mm width and 25 mm height one number only cable tray the elevation is 3.5 meter and this is used for the signal purpose so this is the cable tray going towards the control room similarly other route are also followed you can see these are the jv's are there and these are the different two cable tray one is this one and second one is this one is followed and it is going toward the control room so here you can see this is the bands are used 90 degree bands are used so by this way the every area cable tray are running and it's going toward the control room or control room building so this is the cable tray layout and few other details i can show you like cable tray root number or cable tray number and its cable tray sizes and the cable number within this particular cable so you in these cables these are the cable uh, this within this cable tray and the size of this cable tray is 300 mm and these are the cable within this cable tray are there and the root number followed by these two trays a to b which is showing here a to b this is the root number a So this is the instrument cable tray legend so you can find any particular cable with the help of these tables so this is for the maintenance this is for the installation purpose this is for the uh, you can say a cable laying or cable repairing purpose every purpose these types of details is very important they are the legends is there this is the electrical legends so these are the things you can find out from the cable tray layout few other details like pipe rack details are there mentioned here so if you will use this layout then you can understand about the cable and cable tray in details so this was the cable tray layout so basically this cable tray layout is prepared with the help of few other documents and drawings that i can tell you in details so come toward the our slides input required for the preparation of this cable tray what are the input required 3d model 3d model extract plot plan and key plan equipment layout instrument location plan cable tray loading and sizing sheets so basically these are the input required but i recommend not use any everything because this instrument location plan is already made with this upper drawing like 3d model 3d model extract plot plan everything is used to prepare for this instrument location plan in this instrument location plan if we remove the instrument location and keep junction box air manifold and other con local control panel as it is and we can show the cable tray also so this location plan only we can use and keeping the the junction box air manifold and local control panel locations so we can prepare the 
केबल ट्रे लेआउट और मेन केबल ट्रे लेआउट विद द हेल्प ऑफ इंस्ट्रूमेंट लोकेशन प्लान ओनली जस्ट वी नीड टू रिमूव द इंस्ट्रूमेंट लोकेशन एंड इट्स लीजेंड्स इट सेल्फ एंड वी कैन एड द लीजेंड्स ऑफ केबल ट्रे लेआउट वी कैन एड द केबल ट्रे सो बाय दिस वे वी कैन प्रिपेयर द केबल ट्रे लेआउट इन ऑटो कैड बट इफ यू हैव द थ्री डी मॉडल इफ यू आर वर्किंग इन थ्री डी मॉडल ऑलरेडी यू हैव मॉडल द केबल ट्रे इन थ्री डी then these kinds of workout you not need to do because you can just extract the 3d model and the layout will show there just you have to mark the cable tray number cable tray root number you have to prepare the legend sheet just you have to show the key plan that's it your layout is ready because you have already model all the cable tray so you not need to do this manually but the earlier process that i have shown you or that i have explained you uh, to do with the instrument location plan that is the manual workout so by, by both way you can prepare the instrument location plan and uh, cable tray layout or main cable tray layout so these are the steps that i explained you to prepare the manual cable tray layout like ensure all the inputs are available mark the junction box panel location and equipment layout select the sort address to the control room count the cable quantity for particular area based on jb and local control panel location based on the cable out outer diameter do the tray selection loading and sizing model the cable tray for each area in the 3d model ensure all the cables consider in any of cable tray because if any cable is left then maybe already filled cable will be overfilled so ensure all the cables are considered in at least in any cable tray mark bending ups and downs reduce expanders show other accessories like end plates bonding bumpers etc review the layout if it is okay then you can go ahead otherwise you can make some modifications so up to this points like ensure all the cables considered and mark uh, i mean uh, model the cable tray for each area if you are working 3d model then from the, from this point the, your work will be easy because just you take the extract and you do you can do some minimum modification and you can uh, prepare the cable tray layout because just you need to add some legends you need to mark the cable tray number and root number and adding the uh, key plan that's it your layout is ready but if you are working manually then all the things you need to do just like you have did for the instrument location plan and or i have explained earlier so these are the steps you need to follow for the cable tray layout so this is all about cable tray layout hope you enjoyed this video we will meet again in next video for the next topic thank you so much